Cybersecurity, part one. Two things to keep in mind. One, this is not an exhaustive list. This is a starting point. Two, literally everything that I have learned, I have learned from YouTube and the internet. If you are interested in this, do your own research, figure out what is best for you and your security needs. I am in no way an expert on this. Also, if you know more about this than I do, please mention stuff in the comments and also like hit me up, let's be friends because you're probably very cool. Number one is stop using Google Chrome. In all of my videos, I use Google Chrome and I open up an incognito tab. That is for demonstration purposes only. If you are using Chrome, even in incognito mode, you are not being secure. DuckDuckGo is a good option for an alternative browser that won't slate your data. Tor is really the standard if you're hardcore. It will take longer, but it is worth it. Two is encrypt everything. There's so many services that can do this now. There's like messaging services, there's storage services, because keep in mind, whenever you upload something to the cloud, there is no cloud, it's someone else's computer. Next tip is to use a VPN. They make them for your computer and for your phone now. There are so many different ones out there. Do your own research for which one is best for you. Part two is up. Cybersecurity, part two. Please see the disclaimers from part one. When you are serving the web, make sure you're only going to secure sites. HTTPS only. If there is no S, there is no safety. Never accept cookies. Always make sure you're using an ad blocker and an antivirus software and keep both of them updated. Be really careful with what you download and if stuff is downloading in the background when you're not noticing it. Enable two-factor authentication on like everything. I know it's annoying, but just do it. Specifically related to my last video series, if you ever get a webcam that you can just put to broadcast on the internet, please, God, put a password on it and don't let it be the default password. Everyone knows the default password. Cybersecurity part three. Ah, oh, you found the advanced one. Usual disclaimer is completely self-taught, not in any way an expert. If you know more about this than me, please mention it in the comments and please be my friend. Number one, run Linux. I've also heard tells is good. I've never used it, so I cannot personally recommend. My Kali is here. Not persistent, of course. You can also use a virtual machine. I know people who set up virtual machines inside of their virtual machines. Number two, never go full screen when you are browsing on Tor, ever. Also, a lot of you are mentioning in the comments how Tor was invented by the US government. This is totally true, and it continues to be mostly funded by the US government. They invented Tor so that they could do anonymous browsing themselves. They quickly realized, well, it's great that we have this dark net and all, but if we're the only ones who are using it, anybody's gonna know if this signal is coming from a dark net, it's coming from us. They had to open it up to everybody else to cook their own activities. But that also means it has to be good enough for the US government, so... Uh... Okay, finally, separate specific tasks on the internet to specific browsers with specific email accounts. Using the same email every time a site's like, provide an email, it makes you so easy to track. Also, providers like ProtonMail are encrypted.